All right, our loved ones in Christ Jesus, we bless the Almighty God for His grace and then for His mercies this very day. I'm uh, going to uh, share very uh, powerful and a very short uh, message with you this very day. Uh, let's pray together, our Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, your name be glorified. Abba, Father, your name be glorified. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Let this word bring forth life and power and revelation and deliverance into our lives. Uh, in Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Right, so loved ones, uh, this is your pastor and then uh, your prophet, uh, Diodu Henry Apiakran. And once again, I'm here this day or this hour uh, to share this short message with you. And I've entitled this message, um, 14 Practical uh, and an experiential ways uh, to do evangelism that is um, strategic um, tactical ways practical ways biblical ways experiential ways uh, to preach the word of God to evangelize to win souls soul winning and then it is going to help you practically uh, in your life because uh, by God's grace I have been evangelizing since uh, 2008 uh, for almost about um, let's say um, almost 14 years now since evangelism and by God's grace um, I've been a leader in various churches when I was in deeper life church I was uh, by God's grace I was the, uh, the evangelism coordinator I helped out throughout uh, at the university that I was uh, helping the evangelism team uh, back in senior high school I was doing evangelism uh, when I went to university I was doing evangelism uh, when I was part of the, uh, I'm still part of them by God's grace in Lighthouse Church, First Love Church. Uh, I was a shepherd helping up uh, in evangelism, in soul winning, and I've been going to schools, uh, universities. Sometimes it can be um, uh, tertiary schools. I go out there, the public centers. Uh, we do evangelism. I've set up teams where we've gone for evangelism. Uh, I even started a church with them. Um, tertiary students uh, in Koforidia Tenka University where I had a, a, an evangelism team that we go on evangelism for a uh, special days and uh, so evangelism is something that is on my heart uh, that I believe that uh, for Christianity to rise for the Christian faith to rise uh, we need people who can go out there to preach the gospel people who can go out there to win souls that so the souls can be established in the kingdom of God so uh, evangelism is about winning souls into the kingdom of God and then they becoming born again that is when you can deliver a soul from um, a, a bad experience to uh, the kingdom of God when someone is a sinful person or a sinner and that person repent from his sins after you preaching the gospel to the person and the person accepting Christ Jesus as his Lord and his personal Savior uh, at that moment through your evangelism through your preaching through your teaching uh, through your work uh, that you are doing you have become a soul winner in the house of God in the ministry of God in the in the church in the ecclesia so uh, child of God evangelism is very 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 important in our Christian journey and as I said earlier that I am going to share with you 14 practical 14 uh, strategic way 14 um, biblical way experiential ways uh, to uh, evangelize and then to become a very uh, a faithful person a very uh, a collective person a very fruitful person fruitful strategies uh, to win souls for Jesus to become uh, a, a, a laborer in the kingdom of God because Jesus said that uh, the harvest is truly plenty um, uh, but the laborers are few so child of God you have to understand that we need need more laborers in the house of God we need more soul winners we need more evangelists evangelism is not only for pastors it's not only for apostles or for prophets or for teachers evangelism is for all Christian believers if you call yourself a Christian believer you must understand that evangelism soul winning 
is part of the Christian bandit, is part of the Christian journey, is part of your Christian life. It is part of God's word because Jesus said after Jesus Christ uh, rose from the dead uh, on the third day, he gave a mandate to uh, the disciples that they should go ye into the whole world and then preach the gospel. Whosoever shall believe must be baptized uh, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. So child of God, you must understand that Jesus, our Savior, our King, our Lord, our master um he said that we must go out there and then preach the gospel we must go out there and then win souls we must go out there and then bring souls to the kingdom of god because the word is soul you are winning a soul for god you're not winning a body you are winning a soul because a soul is the most important thing in the kingdom of god if you can win the soul of somebody into the kingdom of god you have made a great input into the house of God. If you can win a soul into the church, into uh, into heaven, child of God, you have become a very uh, 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 powerful person, a great treasure uh, in the kingdom of God. So soul winning is very, very important uh, in the kingdom of God. Soul winning is very, very fruitful in the house of God. And before you go out there to preach the gospel, you must understand that you must be born again. That is the first key concept that if you want to do uh, a fruit fruitful evangelism if you want your evangelism or your soul winning to be fruitful you must be born again when you say born again a born again is somebody who has repented who has um repented from his or her sin and then has accepted jesus christ as his lord and his personal savior so child of god being born again means that you are living in sin the bible says in romans chapter 3 verse 23 that for all have sinned and then fallen short of the glory of god and the bible says in romans chapter 6 verse 23 that for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ uh, our lord so you get to understand that uh without you being born again you cannot make a fruitful evangelism so the first thing is that you must be born again you must repent from your sins you must accept jesus christ as your lord and your personal savior when you accept jesus christ when you accept christ jesus as your lord and your personal savior the holy ghost comes in to fill you uh to, to unite you to make you holy to make you pure because as you are going out there you will meet people who are full of devils people who are full of our wickedness and you must be full of the holy spirit you must be empowered by the spirit of god because before jesus christ could uh, commission his disciples he told them to go uh, and then wait for the baptism of the holy spirit for the empowerment of the holy spirit for the anointing of the holy spirit so child of god before you go out there to be a, a fruitful uh, soul winner to be a great evangelist to be a person of value you must be full of the holy spirit you must be empowered by the holy ghost you must be full of the anointing and the anointing is the holy spirit so you get to understand in the book of Acts chapter 2 that when the day of pentecost the disciples were at the upper room and the bible declared that the Holy Spirit had he fell upon them and they were filled they were filled with the Holy Ghost so after they were filled with the Holy Ghost they went out there to preach the gospel Apostle Peter who was a very timid person because he was empowered by the Holy Ghost because he was filled by the Holy Ghost because he was as uh, united because he was as uh, strengthened by the Holy Ghost by the anointing by the Spirit of God he was able to do marvelous work to win souls for Christ through the preaching of Apostle Peter and several are disciples of Jesus Christ souls were won into the kingdom of God so child of God you have to understand that uh, before you can do a fruitful evangelism number one I said you must be born again number two I said that you must be filled with the Holy Spirit by the anointing by the power through the anointing through the Holy Ghost uh, through the infilling of the Spirit when you go out there then souls can be won into the kingdom of God so you must understand that it is not everybody that will accept the gospel when you go out there you must understand that it is not everybody it is not every soul that will embrace the gospel sometimes you can go out there you preach the word of god but people people will hate you people will reject the gospel because they, their heart is hardened they have a hardened heart they, they, they are full of evil spirits so child of god you must understand that when you go out there to preach the gospel some will accept the gospel some will deny it some will become your enemies some will even try to attack you 
time you try to uh, attack you in the realms of the spirit because people are carrying all kind of different spirit all kind of different power that they are operating with so child of god if you go out there to preach the gospel some will accept it and some will deny it it's a biblical truth the uh, Jesus said that uh in the book of i think matthew he talked about the parable of the uh sower and then um uh, the seed that when the sower went in uh, to sow the seed some fell on stony ground some fell on the wayside some f- fell on stony uh, some fell on good ground and you get to understand that uh, some accepted the word of God but because of the world because of the trials the test the confusion the difficulties of the world they could not accept the gospel so sometimes when they go out there to preach the gospel some will embrace it but because of life challenges because of difficulty, because of problems, because of personal emotion, because of demonic affliction, some may not accept the word of God. When you go out there to preach the gospel, the, uh, you can preach the gospel very well, but the devil can come in and instill the word of God out of people's heart. Sometimes you can go and then preach the gospel, some will not accept the word of God because it will fall on the wayside, it will fall on the stony ground, they will not embrace the gospel, but those who are, are fruitful, those who are ready they will accept the gospel they may even sow seed into your life and i have been to several places by god's grace sometimes we can travel to um different places when i was in the university we traveled when i was in deeper life church as a evangelist coordinator uh, we traveled to some villages and some places to preach the gospel some accepted the word some denied it some were also trying to debate with us we went to some Muslim communities, some accepted it, some were saying that this, they were saying that, they were saying this, they were saying that. You see, so when we go out there, even in secondary school, we travel to different places, different schools, different villages to preach the gospel, and some accepted it, some denied it. Uh, as I'm still doing it, the gospel, I'm still preaching the gospel, sometimes we go to... um. Uh, secondary schools we go to our uh, universities uh, their hostels the apartments you preach the gospel some will accept it some will deny it some will become angry some will not even open the door for you to come inside some will even uh, become happy because you are preaching the gospel so it goes in that arena that some will accept the gospel and some will not accept the gospel so don't become uh, unhappy don't become uh, worried don't become too uh, 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 anxious that people are not accepting the gospel no it is a fact it is a biblical truth that some people will not accept the gospel and i said earlier that some will even fight you because they don't even love the gospel they are not full of the spirit of god some are full of demonic powers and they will even try to issue insult out you they may even try to even curse you they may even try to uh, uh punish you physically so child of god it goes in that arena it goes in that way that you must be prepared for all these things so that it can help you practically uh in your life so uh without wasting much time i'm going to um reveal to you or explain to you the 14 uh practical ways the 14 uh practical way the 14 biblical way the 14 experiential ways i have used most of these tactics I have used most of these strategies that I'm going to share with you. If you apply any of these strategies, it can help you in your evangelism. I wrote a book called A Soul is a Soul. It's a very powerful book. You can try the book out. It can help you uh, also expand your uh, passion about evangelism. So child of God, get the key concepts here. It will help you uh, in your Christian life. So the first key point I want to, or the first tactic, the first strategy, or the first um fruit way that i want to teach you or the first principle or the first way to do a fruitful evangelism is that you can do a one-on-one evangelism hallelujah you can do what a one-on-one evangelism so this evangelism that maybe you go to um house to house is very very effective if you can get somebody that you can sit down with the person you talk to the person about christ you talk to the person about the bible about jesus it is very very effective so as you talk to the person you tell him about christianity you explain to him about the bible who jesus is why jesus came the importance of serving jesus christ you tell him all this person you tell him all this thing so if you can able to get one person if you're a person that feels shy you're always shy you don't want to uh, 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 
go to the crowd you can do one-on-one -on -one evangelism uh, in the school that you are you can find a close person that you can sit with see the person and then talk to the person about jesus christ is very very effective and it goes uh, in that way another way to do evangelism is that you can do group evangelism so maybe uh, in a group uh, maybe two in pairs three in pairs uh, you can join with your friends maybe uh, two males uh, two females or maybe two males one females or two females one male uh, in four groups then you go on this uh, group evangelism you go out there to preach the gospel it is very 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 effective when I was um, uh, leading the uh, KT students uh, in the evangelism sometimes I separate them by groups and then uh, some will go to different hostel some will go to a different apartment some will go to a different place and after we do evangelism we take their contact and it goes in that way so we can do group evangelism and it helps in that way and one thing that you must know is that uh, if you are a male don't choose a female partner alone don't go in two pairs because sometimes you can be tempted so the best way is that you must walk in the same gender if you're a male choose a male gender if you're a female choose a female gender and it can go uh, in that arena uh, so that is group evangelism and it helps in that way another way to do evangelism that you must can also do mass evangelism we call it mass evangelism a large evangelism maybe you want to uh, do crusade revival this one it involves uh, much money it involves leadership qualities if you don't have uh, money you can't do mass evangelism because you have to travel to different villages to different towns to different territories to preach the gospel to hold a crusade to hold a revival and uh, it's very very also um effective as well because if you have the resources uh if you have uh the leadership quality if you have the human skills you can connect with people you can do mass evangelism and it all goes uh in that way another way to do um this is that you can also do dawn evangelism when you say dawn evangelism uh, between 4 o'clock and then let's say 6 30 uh, a.m uh, early in the morning in the twilight what people are about to wake up at that moment you can do dawn evangelism you wake up early in the morning uh it may be in your area that you are living you can get a, a microphone or a megaphone you can even use your own physical voice because at that time the weather is very very uh, cool when you speak it can go to a far place so you can get some money go and buy a megaphone you can get some speak money go and buy a microphone or um, speakers or you can use your man power i've been doing this uh several times so uh between let's say four o'clock uh a.m early in the morning five o'clock a.m early in the morning uh, any time that you are led by the holy ghost between four and then six thirty or six o'clock a.m go out there in your community hold your megaphone hold your microphone or if you don't have this megaphone use your man power as you are doing it god can touch somebody to um buy you a megaphone or to buy you a microphone or to buy a speaker to do the done broadcasting it's very very effective at that time because at that time people are on their bed they're about to rise up so as you are speaking the word of god it will echo into their soul it will echo into their spirit it will echo into their uh, inner man and they can receive christ after doing the preaching make sure that uh, you uh, try to give a call up that people should give their life to christ so after preaching you have to open the door for salvation that for example after you are preached you want to give your life to christ pray this prayer after me so it all goes in that way so you can do done broadcasting in your community in your area uh it's very very safe it goes in that way another way to do evangelism is that you can also do market center evangelism market center evangelism when i say market center evangelism it means that uh in africa in ghana here like this on market days uh in you can go to the market center you can set up your big microphone and then you preach the gospel in the public sometimes um, it goes in that way in public 
in public buses, uh, in the market center, you put up your large microphone, your large speakers in the street, like we call it street evangelism. It goes in that way. So you start in the public, you preach the gospel, uh, people are passing by, you stand at one point, at one corner, then you declare the word of God about Jesus Christ, you preach Jesus Christ about salvation. People should give their life to Christ. As you are doing that, people will give their life to Christ. You can go to public buses. I don't know about your country whether they accept public uh, buses uh, evangelism but in Ghana here you can go to public buses and then preach the gospel although uh, you might not get the attention of others sometimes people who sell will not allow you to preach the gospel they'll be making noise but if you are consistent and persistent uh, you can preach the gospel and then people will give their life to Christ so you can stand by the street you can stand by the market centers uh, if you have a big microphone a big uh, speakers large speakers you can put at one place sometimes you can see people they set up uh, a pulpit in the market center they connect their speakers their large large speakers and they preach the gospel in town uh, in various market centers in the street and it helps in that way so you can do uh, market center evangelism and it can help you in that way another way to do evangelism that you can do video evangelism you can do what video evangelism for example uh, you can if you have let's say a projector if you have let's say uh jesus movie uh about christ jesus movie you can, in your community or you can travel to a place if you have the resources or the money you can put up a video about jesus christ or an inspirational video that talks about jesus christ as the video is playing you can be preaching about jesus christ as the video is playing you can be explaining the video to them about who jesus christ is so make sure that you get about uh the jesus movie uh, it is called the passion of jesus christ uh, so get a movie or a video that uh depicts jesus christ a video or uh, 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 yes yeah, a video that talks about jesus christ and then you put a projector or maybe a big screen uh in the place uh, in the arena in the area in the town in the village and then you put out large speakers and then ask the video is playing you hold your microphone you'll be at the back or you can project the video to a large screen and then people will come there they'll be watching the movie or they're watching the video and then you preach the gospel through that place it is very very effective and then you can lead people to salvation and then people will give their life uh, to Jesus Christ and I said that it involves some money and then some time and then some people that you can connect with uh, that will help you do this fruitful evangelism Another way to do evangelism is that uh, you can do radio preaching. We call it digital preaching, radio preaching. Maybe you go to the radio stations, you can buy airtime. I have preached um, um, uh, in radio stations uh, before by God's grace and it's very, very effective. So when you get some money or maybe you know a presenter, you can volunteer to maybe a Christian or any radio center that you want to preach the gospel that you can volunteer. I want to use maybe 30 minutes, maybe one hour, maybe 20 minutes. Even that short minute that you can volunteer, if you have that money that you can buy airtime at the radio, that you can go there and then preach the gospel uh, through the radio because people also listen to the radio. So as you preach the gospel through the radio, so can be won in that arena so if you have money you can buy airtime if you don't have money you can go to the presenter you can go to the um the manager of the radio center or you can go to the um how they call it the one in charge of the radio talk to the person that you want to volunteer to preach the gospel and then win souls into the kingdom of god uh, if it's the will of god you can pray to it and then go out there and by the grace of god they can even allow you to preach the gospel on the radio stations and it can help spread about jesus christ another way to also do evangelism that you can also do uh television uh evangelism you can do television evangelism uh you can also see the media record digital evangelism you can see the media centers the presenters uh, the managers the ceos in charge of the television station and then talk to them that you want to preach the gospel through television because people watch television on in their homes uh, in their workplace and in their houses so as you are preaching on the television people are giving their life to christ and it involves a large money so uh, sometimes you have to pay some huge sum of money before you can go to a television station to preach the gospel to let others know about who jesus christ is so it goes in that arena and in your area too you can also do maybe there is 
an information center in that place uh, maybe in a town in a village wherever you are living if there is an information center in that place you can also do the evangelism there because in information center you can pay some money to the one in charge and then you preach the gospel as i said in the twilight in early in the morning between five or six o'clock a.m 4 30 a.m and then you stand at the uh, information center and then preach the gospel you can pay some money to them and then preach the gospel and then lead them to jesus christ and it's very very effective it goes uh, in that way another way to do evangelism uh, is that you must also can do online evangelism you can do online evangelism when you say online evangelism that is where maybe you can set up a youtube channel and then um if you have a microphone if you have a good camera you have a good uh, cameras you can set up a camera or somebody can help you video you and then you preach the gospel and then you upload it to youtube or you can do a live preaching on youtube uh on facebook and set up a facebook page a facebook group page and then do a live video a live preaching and you can also promote your uh teachings through arts through google arts facebook ads and it all goes in that way so you can do through social media channels on whatsapp on telegram uh, on other social media platforms so we call it online evangelism online evangelism is very very effective as well so if you have the money to set up um it's not about money it's about free because you can freely set up a youtube channel and then uh do your audio if they can do a video you can do an audio uh, teaching you can record a, a sermon on your microphone you can record a sermon if you have a very good phone that can record a, a nice uh, audio you can record your sermons and then upload it to um, YouTube and then promote it on Facebook promote it in um, Christian groups promote the teachings uh, in forums that is connected to the Christian faith, uh, in Christian groups on Telegram, on on, on WhatsApp, uh, on Twitter, uh, on, on every social media channel. But the most effective way that I believe is the video uh, teaching, the video preaching, because a lot of time people can see your face, they can watch your face, they can listen to your sermon. Make sure that your sound is very, very clear, that people can hear your sound, your voice very clearly, so that it can go uh, in that way. So you can do online preaching, and then you can uh, promote your teachings, uh, you can pay some money, then they can promote it for you online, and it goes uh, in that way. Another way to do uh so winning is that you can also do written evangelism when i say written evangelism you can write uh, you can set up a blog for yourself we have free blogging platform like blogger.com wordpress.com uh, tumble.com we have several free blogging platform if you are talented if you are gifted uh, to write articles to write uh to a uh, write you can write Christian articles and then you set up your blog and then people come and read your articles. I have a blog by God's Grace called uh, rockofheaven.com. I use Blogger, a free blogging platform, and I, I bought a domain uh, called Rock of Heaven. So initially, uh, the blog is called Heaven's Gate. 777.blogspot.com but uh, the main site when i bought the domain i renew it as time goes on i pay some dollars to renew it uh, occasionally it's called rockofheaven.com rockofheaven.com you can get my article so if you can write if you can write articles if you can write um uh, um articles christian articles if you can write books it goes in that way your books your articles uh, it can help you uh, in your Christian life. It can help you in your Christian journey. And it all goes now with so a child of God. If you are talented, if you are gifted by the Holy Ghost, you can write Christian articles. You can write blogs. You can write a book and then freely share the book uh, through the online platform. You can share the books uh, uh, through uh, social media channels on Twitter, on Facebook, on other social media platforms. And it all goes in that. So as a child of God, if you are gifted, you can do a written evangelism and then promote the blog articles, uh, promote your articles, promote your writings, promote your books, your Christian books, share with your friends, your loved ones, with the church. Uh, you can, it goes in that way, you can print out the books, you can turn the book into audio, uh, you can share it in various uh, platforms. 
is part of the evangelism because writing will last for a very long time when you write it can last for a very long time so child of god you can also do written evangelism it can help you uh in that way another way to do evangelism is that you can also um do prayer evangelism you can do prayer evangelism when you say prayer evangelism it goes that um, you build a prayer life you intercede that more souls should be won into the kingdom of God so child of God um, you intercede you dedicate your time your energy to pray that the Lord should send forth more harvest as you are praying it is working more powerfully in the realms of the spirit as you are praying that god should set up laborers people who go out there to preach the gospel as you are praying you are also winning souls for god because as you are praying the holy ghost will touch the heart of somebody to go out there and then preach the gospel as you are interceding that let there be soul winners let there be laborers let there be passionate laborers who go out there and give them themselves wholeheartedly for the kingdom of god as you are doing that and to help in the ministry of God. So child of God, learn how to or learn how to become a soul winner, learn how to be a prayer warrior because when you pray, it changes things in the realms of this. When you pray, uh, it breaks certain rules. When you pray, it breaks certain doors. When you pray, more souls are won into the kingdom of God. So that is be your special prayer, your specific prayer that you are praying the Lord. Let there be laborers in the kingdom. Lord, let there be soul winners. Lord, let there be evangelists. Lord, let there be more evangelism. Let people go out there and then win souls. As you are praying from your heart, day in and day night, the moment, the night, the evening are done in the midnight. As you are praying that, let there be more laborers, child of God. People shall go out there and then uh, become soul winners. You can pray to break evil grounds that any evil ground that as we are going there uh, there are some people that will use evil altars they will use charms they will use spells so that they, as you are preaching it will not be fruitful child of god you can pray and then break all these evil altars you can pray and then break all these demonic powers all their witchcraft control because as you are praying in the realm of the spirit it is breaking all the plans of the enemy as you are praying to dismantle all the works of the enemy when people go out there to win souls there shall be more souls or the, the soul winning will be more fruitful in the house of god so child of god you can do prayer evangelism to break demonic altars to break to break witchcraft authority to break satanic uh spells satanic charms so that the evangelism can be more fruitful uh, as times uh, goes on another way to do evangelism that you can also do follow up evangelism after preaching the gospel uh, you can write out their names you can write down their names their contact their email address and then give them a phone call about see how they are doing if you can visit them physically you can go up to them and then follow up on them give them a call send them emails about how they are doing what is going on in your life so child of god follow up uh, uh so it is very very effective because if you don't follow up on them sometimes you can lose them and they can also go back to the world so after preaching the gospel uh, you can do follow up evangelism you visit them you give them a call you encourage them uh, you pray for them you intercede for them because after winning the souls you must pray that they will be established in the house of god you must pray for them that the lord will deliver them from sick enemy you can pray that the lord should set them free from all the plans of the enemy so child of god you must do a follow-up evangelism you can send them a text message you can create a face uh, book page a whatsapp group page a telegram group uh, page uh, a facebook page and then put all the members inside that group and then uh, connect with them occasionally as time goes on and then it becomes a very fruitful uh, soul winning in your life so these are the best ways to do evangelism another way to do as uh, powerful or fruitful soul winning is that you can also become a self evangelist to yourself you must become a self evangelist uh, to your own uh, self when they say self evangelism it means that your life must imitate Christ. When people see you, they must see Jesus Christ. When people see you, they must see the character of Christ because your life can be a, a, a preaching to others. Your life can be a sermon to others. Your lifestyle, your character, your attitude, how you walk, how you talk, how you do your things can become like a mirror to others in the ways of God. So child of God, you can become a self-evangelist to others. 
when people see you hey this person he's a christian this person he follows the bible this person he walks in the light of the gospel because in the bible in the book of acts the first people who were in antioch the unbelievers so that these people they were of christ because they did the things of christ they walk with christ they walk on the path of christ so child of god you can also become a self evangelist to yourself when people see you when they see your attitude when they see your character when they see your lifestyle when they see your movement when they see your actions when they see your works they can see christ in you they can see the life of christ in you they can see the bible in you and when they see christ in you they can also give their life to christ when the unbelievers see christ in you they will feel more empowered to serve Christ. when people see christ in you they feel more connected to give their life to Jesus Christ. So you must become like a book to the unbelievers. You must become like a light to the unbelievers. And through your uh, righteousness lifestyle, people can give their life to Jesus Christ. So child of God, I believe that if you follow up this practical uh, evangelism strategies, it can help you in your life. And I explained number one, you can do one-on-one -on -one evangelism. Number two, you can do group evangelism. Number three, you can do mass evangelism. Number four, you can do dawn evangelism. You can do market center evangelism or street evangelism. You can do video evangelism. Uh, you can do um, uh, radio preaching or radio evangelism. You can do uh, television evangelism. You can do local center evangelism. You can do online evangelism. You can do written evangelism. You can do prayer evangelism. You can do follow up evangelism. And you can do self evangelism. So, child of God, any of these strategies, any of these tactics will help you in your soul winning strategy and help you become a fruitful Christian uh, in your life. So, child of God, I believe that if you follow this practical, uh, tactical, strategic principles and then, uh, ways, it can help you become a very good soul winner uh, in the house of God. If you are hearing me, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, it is never too late. You can pray right after me. Lift up your right hand and then pray this prayer right after me. Declare heavily, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, say, I repent. Of all my sins and I confess Christ Jesus as my Lord and my Savior say Christ Jesus grant me grace and grant me mercies to serve the Lord with all my heart and with all my soul in Jesus Christ's name shout a big amen once again this is your pastor and your prophet if you don't go to church say on class sorry I pass sorry neden neko pass sorry a jibai bonidi nefa honshe sa sorry ni mu if you don't go to church, find a Bible believing church and attend. Nepe Sika, Koto Chiro Kron Kronibi, Koto Holy Bible now King Kanya at the Enkwanji at the Bebrel Cross. So get some money, go and buy a Holy Bible for yourself and then feed on the Word of God and then build a prayer life. Bompaye, baby out in Bompaye, so Bompaye in your own, baby out in your fear now, in your Bompaye. Christ to bed then, or be a at the amount else soon, soon, yes. So in the midnight hour, build yourself in prayer. Uh, in the day hour, use the four watches of the day and the night to pray to build yourself uh, in the Lord. It can help you uh, in your personal life. And I explained to you that you must do evangelism and it all goes in that way. So you can get my articles, my free books on rockofheaven.com on my blog www.rockofheaven.com R-O-C-K-O-F-H-E-A-V-E-N dot com so rockofheaven.com or heaven's gate 777.blogspot.com uh, heaven's gate 777.blogspot.com uh, it all goes in that way you can also check on my wix my old old blog and then you can connect more with my free articles and my free books to help you grow in the Lord. But ultimately, it is the Holy Bible that can help you know the way. Because Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth and the path. And no one uh, comes to the Father except by me. So you have to know more about Jesus through the Word of God and through your personal separation, through your personal uh, Bible study with God. And Jesus Christ will surely bless you once again. It's your pastor and your prophet, uh, Diodu Henry Piakran. May God deliver you and may God 
grant you grace. May God set you apart for this end time harvest. May the blood of Jesus Christ cover you. May you be delivered from all the hands of the enemy. I declare and decree that you shall not die before your time, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. I declare and decree that no weapon that is formed against your life shall prosper, and every mouth that shall lift their voice against you, I condemn that voice right now. I declare and decree the peace of God, the joy of God, the mercy of God. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for you. Let the blood of Jesus Christ silence all the voice of the enemy in your life. I declare and decree that let the sun, let the moon, let the stars, let the wind, let the fire, let the earth, let the water contend with those that contend with you and let the element of God defend your cause in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the hands of the Holy Ghost be upon your life. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost consume every works of the enemy. I declare and decree that let God contend with those that contend with you and let God oppose them that oppose you. I declare and decree divine healing, divine grace, divine peace upon your life. By the stripe of the Lamb, I declare you healed right now in the name of Jesus. May God fill you with power, with joy, with favor, with increase in the name of Jesus Christ. May the hands of the Lord be upon your life. May you walk in glory. May you walk in joy. May we walk in fire. May the grace of the Lord overshadow you right now. May you walk in wisdom, in revelation, in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree right now ha, that no weapon from the east, from the south, from the west, ha, any star hijackers, I dismantle them in the name of Jesus. Any sorceress, any spells, any incantation. Ha, the Bible says that no enchantment, no divination ha, against Jacob Israel shall prosper. I declare and decree right now ha, that no incantation, no weapon, no divination will start against your life right now. The Bible says that touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I declare and decree right now in the evil eye, in the evil mouth, I blind those eyes with the blood of Jesus. I blind those eyes with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered as I call upon the name of the Lord. You are delivered right Right now. You are covered right now. You are protected right now. You are set free right now. Every demonic affliction, I come against that power in the name of Jesus Christ. Any evil best, any evil agent against your life, we destabilize them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the hands of the Lord come upon your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God show you mercy. May the blood of Jesus Christ silence all the voice of the enemy in your life right now. I declare and decree that you shall not die, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living heart. I declare and decree right now by the stripes of the Lamb. I declare you healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. May the grace of the Lord uplift you from every demonic dungeon, every graveyard spirit, every demonic altars, satanic altars, graveyard altars in your area, in your mother's family, in your father's family, in your area. I stand by the altar of the Lord. I stand Stand by the word of the Lord. I stand by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we crush that altar with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the satanic priest behind this altar, we crush them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will see the glory of the Lord. You will see the light of the Lord. I declare and decree right now, the earth, the wind, the sound of the earth shall oppose your workers. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the evil workers that stand upon your glory. Let the sun, let the wind oppose them right now. Let the Lord of God Israel arise and take dominion ship right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your stars shine. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the glory of God shine upon your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be empowered. Be filled by the Holy Ghost. Walk in joy, walk in peace, walk in freedom, walk in glory, walk in light, walk in wisdom, walk in favor, walk in joy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are blessed once again. This is your pastor and your prophet, Diodu Henry Apiakran. May the peace of God overshadow you right now. And may you walk in strength from strength to strength. For the Bible says that the path of the righteous is shine brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. I declare and decree every spirit of backwardness. 
stagnation demotion i break that curse right now i break that demonic utterance i break that demonic spells right now in the name of jesus christ you are covered you are protected you are delivered you are set free in the name of christ jesus you are blessed in jesus mighty